YouTube. Uh, it's me once again with a very, very, very important yet popular question that I always get from people you know, who want answers, which is, uh, I cannot seem to gain weight. They want to gain weight, they want to build muscle, they want to get uh, strength gains, but they just can't seem to build weight. Now, this, uh, this video applies mostly to, like, mostly to like, the, the guys, but there are also some females out there that, are, um, that are really like, want to gain weight. Usually females are like, oh, I want to lose weight, but yeah, I've ran into some females that actually want to gain weight. So um, basically, the only really gaining weight, like, it is so simple. I always say it is so simple. You have to eat more. You have to eat food. Okay, I say food, I stress food because a lot of people who don't know anything about, you know, like, you know, metabolism, how the body synthesizes uh, nutrients, how uh, it breaks down certain molecules, they tend to um, rely on things like supplements, and um, which is not bad, we're well, not bad, don't, don't take me wrong, they're not bad at all, but they rely on mass gainers, mass gainers, mass gainers, mass gainers. Now, I wouldn't say, well, yeah, they, mass gainers are... Uh, I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say it. They are a waste of money. Now, when I was growing up, you know, I'm uh, my late teenager, teenager stage, whatever. Um, I was in big into mass gainers, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, I need to get mass gainers. I want to, you want to, could you think you want to gain weight, get mass gainers? No, but that's what I thought. You know, I know a lot of you guys watching this video right now are thinking the same way too. Now, mass gainers are good, okay? But you guys must know, and not just mass gainers, also protein as well. These things are supplements, okay? Now, a supplement is, you gotta look at the word supplement. It's not a replacement, it's a supplement, something you add on, okay, to what you're already doing or your, whatever your primary, um, I don't know, protocol is. But it's a supplement. Now, a lot of you tend to replace, you guys tend to rely on supplements more than food, okay? What you guys do not know is that your body will synthesize food better than any other supplement, any supplement there is and that will ever be. Okay, food is the number one thing your body your body uses for, for energy. Okay, that's because all the carbs, protein, glucose, everything. Okay, so you guys need to focus on guys and girls. I say guys just to be general, but you guys need to focus on uh, eating food. Okay, food, food, food. You want to gain weight, build muscle, food, food, food. Okay. Now, as far as gaining weight, you have some of your staples that you just cannot <laughs> you cannot like you know miss these. You can't skip out on these. Um, your your white rice, your brown rice. You know, whatever you prefer. Um, sweet potatoes, oh, that's a staple. I love sweet potatoes myself. I love them. Um, bread, be careful with the bread though. So, you know, to stay away from your white bread. Uh, I typically go for wheat. And for those of you who are like, oh, wheat's nasty. I guarantee you, you eat wheat a couple of times, not a couple of times, but you keep eating wheat and for a long period of time and you go back to white bread, you would taste, you, you would notice uh, the biggest difference. I am telling you. Like me eating like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with white bread, you would never see that happen ever. I mean, unless I have to. It's always usually wheat. Um, well, I'm your potatoes, you know, things are like uh, that's that is very, very um, have like a, a low glycemic index. What I mean by that is like foods that you eat that will um, less likely cause your blood sugar to increase. High glycemic foods would be more like your your candy and your processed stuff, stuff that your body. Um, releases a lot of uh, insulin to kind of uh, transfer into your cells and muscles and muscle tissue. Okay, you want to stay low in glycemic index as if you um, focus on doing a clean bowl, okay? Now, as far as gain weight, you have a couple options that you can use. Well, that's why I say clean bowl. There's a couple options you can use. Me, I like to have a mixture of both dirty and clean bowl because me personally, I love to eat. And I know you guys out there love to eat, okay? If you love to eat, you with me, all right? I love to eat. So, um... What I'll do, like, um, usually if I, if I want to gain weight, uh, I would just simply, just, guys, it's so simple, just eat, eat food, okay? Five, six, seven meals a day, even, some of you guys even more than that. Um, now, your training has to be, it has to be, portion, it has to be directly proportional to the amount of food that you're eating, okay? All right? That's what separates a clean bulk from a dirty bulk, okay? Dirty bulk. You know, everyone loves dirty bulk. You eat whatever you want to eat, when you want to eat it, and how you want to eat it, and the amount that you want to eat it in, okay? But a clean bulk is different, you know what I'm saying? You clean bulk, you have certain food groups, certain foods that you'll have, you know what I'm saying? All the healthy foods, and you will, you will sort of monitor that, okay? So let's say, for a clean bulk, okay? So let's say, um, you know, it's, okay, average, 
percent daily value is about 2,000 calories, okay, for the average person. So let's say you want to gain weight, you probably add on about 300 calories, so it'll make you about, make you roughly 2,300 calories to gain, you know, uh, roughly maybe a pound, pound and a half a week. So you increase your calories, your daily caloric intake by 300 calories, you are, um, you should roughly, you know, give or take gain about a pound, pound and a half at the end of that week or in two weeks. That's a clean bulk, you know, being having those um, those guidelines and you monitoring it, that's what, separates, that's what separates the clean bulk from a dirty bulk. Dirty bulk, you have no idea what you're eating. You just eat it because you want to eat it and you just know, okay, I'm going to eat, 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 and I'm going to lift, 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 okay. So depending on what your goals are, you know, you can dirty bulk or clean bulk. Me personally, uh, I usually clean bulk, but um, I, I partake in dirty bulk. Not as much though, but maybe like, you know, certain, maybe one or two days. At most, two days of the week, that I have like a, a really dirty meal just because I really want to. I felt as though I train super hard in the gym, I deserve this, you know what I'm saying? Or let's say if I'm about to do legs, I have like a big, a nice meal either the day before or a few hours prior, you know, for that extra glycogen. But that's, that's, another, that's another, another video on the same topic. Now guys, uh, me, me personally, I would say I'm, a, uh, I'm an ectomorph. Some of you out there may think, oh no, he's uh, Gio's a mesomorph. No, for those of you who know me, who've known me long enough, and when I, when I was first starting out, and you guys know that I'm definitely ectomorph. Uh, let me see, uh, Fat, I'll rewind back. I think I graduated high school, uh, give or take five pounds. I think I graduated high school like 170, at most 175. I know it wasn't 180. Um, yeah, 170, 175. I graduated in 2011, that was 2016, okay? So fast forward, you know, five years. Now I'm like 205, 210. I try to stay between 205, 210. Well, not because I tried, because I really can't get above 210 and really, you know, climb up and wait. But um, yeah, that's me. So for you ectomorphs out there, for you skinny guys, because I, I was you, um, you know, being like five feet five, weighing in like, <laughs> scratching doors like 100 pounds, 110, 110 pounds, something like that. But um, yeah. So guys, for you ectomorphs, it, it will take a long time. It took me five years, okay? Based on my genetics, based on my, uh, my behavior as far as training and eating, it took me five years. Now, it may take you guys less than that, or some of you guys even more than that, okay? It all depends on how bad you want it, how bad you want to gain weight, and you know how realistic your goals are. It's very important. Um, yeah, that was me, guys. Woo! Now guys, another key factor that will play a huge role Oh my God. Yo, I'm sorry, this, this chair is extremely squeaky. But uh, <laughs> another key factor that will play a huge role in the, and that's, that will determine your ability to actually gain weight will be um, your body type, okay? Now there are three different types of body, well, <laughs> three different body types out there, okay? you either an ectomorph, you know, that's a person who can't gain weight, whether they want to gain muscle or fat, they just cannot gain weight. These are people that can eat like a whole cake, whole cake and not gain a single ounce, not even a pound. This can't gain weight at all. You have your mesomorphs, okay, those are usually the bodybuilders. These guys can uh, pack on muscle and they can burn fat, okay? This is everybody's dream, dream. Well, this is mostly, most of you guys out there, dream body type, mesomorph, mesomorph, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, you have your endomorphs. These guys are, they're usually bigger, stronger, but they cannot, you know, trim down, you know, cannot, they cannot, uh, you have that really, really lean aesthetic look, okay, because they're, they're endomorphs, okay, their body tends to hold uh, fat for energy. Um, now, so I would advise you guys to find out what body type you are, you know, yeah, find out what body type you are, and um, now do not, do not let your body type hinder, you know, your, your progress in your, um, in your weight gain, okay, do not, so don't be like an ectomorph, be like, I just can't get weight, so I'm just gonna stop and quit. No, you do not do that, okay? You just continue, continue to do what you're doing, okay? You're on the right track, you have to be consistent and persistent. It'll take you a lot longer to gain weight than it would take a mesomorph, an endomorph, okay? You just gotta be, be willing to go through that. That's all. You can still do it, you just gotta be willing to go through it the time span that it takes to receive uh, your result. Like I said in the beginning of this video, food is your number one source of energy for the body. Food will be synthesized better than any supplement Okay, so your, your body, your, your body runs off food. It doesn't run off supplements. Okay, keep that in mind. Food, 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 food. All right, but um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, sorry, um, 
took me a little longer to get this video done. I was pretty busy, and to be honest with you, I was kind of lazy a couple of days. I was like, oh, I'm so tired. And some of you guys watching the video was like getting on me, you know, to make this video. So I did it for you guys, and I did it for, you know, all the other viewers that are watching this, and all the other future subscribers that are watching this channel. Hey guys, so that's it. Go ahead and LCD at the bottom of the screen. Like, comment, subscribe to this channel, and stay tuned for future videos. Uh, me and my friend, we're working on uh, my next kind of like gym collab uh, motivational video. So you guys be ready for that one. That should be posted. I don't know when that's going to be posted. I'm going to hit him up after this video. But uh, yeah, guys. I appreciate the love.